Oh, Texas, the Lone Star State, the largest state in the lower 48. You can find everything from canyons, vast open roads, and large cities. It's a place we know a lot about being born and raised. And today, we take you to somewhere near and dear to us, Houston, Texas. Everyone knows Houston as Space City, having NASA's control center and training facilities. But what you might not know is that there's a visitor center displaying some of NASA's most iconic displays. So neither of us have actually been here during our adult years. So I know it's changed a lot, and I really don't remember much about it. So this will be kind of a new experience. They have space suits on display, and I think they have one of the SpaceX suits, but we'll find this a little bit. The robo astronaut. It's literally a robot that helps them around the space station and stuff. How cool is that? Back there they have this virtual reality thing. You get in the spaceship and it's like shows you all the stuff like you'd be in a spaceship. There's a long line. I don't think we're gonna do it. I don't know unless Sam wants to but it'd be really cool. Yeah, this is really cool. We're in a space shuttle right now. We're on the lookout for the Falcon X rocket somewhere around here. But we finally went outside. We see the space shuttle here. And this is so neat. Enormous this thing is. Like you can literally just walk right underneath it. We found the SpaceX Falcon 9. You see it when you pull in the parking lot. We didn't realize that's what it was. But look. Nine Marlin engines. I don't know what that means, but it's apparently impressive. This thing is huge. I'm having trouble getting it all in one shot. Three, two, one, lift off of the Falcon 9. So there's a whole food court here in case you get hungry, but I had to try space coffee. Anyways, it's not really space coffee, it's just nitro cold brew, but I felt like I had to try it because we're in space, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I haven't stopped talking about this since I knew we were going to NASA. We have to get space dried ice cream. I remember doing this when I was a little kid and you can't leave without trying it. You get it from the gift shop, so let's do it. Oh my gosh. It's an ice cream sandwich. I don't know if I said that. What is going on? Oh, I don't know. It's crumbly. Okay. They really eat this stuff in space. This is like legit. It looks like an ice cream sandwich. Look at that. You know those things you get? Oh, it's falling apart. Hmm. <laughs> it's not the best. It wasn't that good. You just have to try it. The packaging said that they freeze dry it to negative 40 Fahrenheit and then vacuum seal it to make that. There's like strawberries in there. There's a bunch of other stuff too that you can pick if you don't want the ice cream sandwich, but you have to do it. What a cool little day. We're headed to our next spot that you have to check out when you're here in Houston. So let's go. Pro tip, <laughs> Houston is full of tollways. So if you're coming to Houston, make sure you avoid the tolls or you buy the, is it Easy Pass? Mm -hmm. The Easy, easy tag. tag. Easy Tag. <laughs> Thankfully, his mom has an Easy Tag, so we're getting around pretty easy. But 
You're gonna have traffic in Houston. It's a huge city. We're at the best brewery in Texas, St. Arnold's. Look at this view. There's the brewery. There's the skyline of Houston. <laughs> We're at St. Arnold's Brewery here in Houston, Texas, and this has got to be my favorite brewery here in Houston. It's amazing. They got a good selection of beers. Kristen's even got our nice little cider, which is... It's a honey agave Ooh. cider. It's good. But yeah, they have really good food. It's like a German style beer garden, so they have like a lot of good pretzels, burgers. I'm Colano, I'm shaking. Pizzas, everything you can want in a beer garden. They have, they have a huge outside venue and then they have a really nice inside venue as well. And they have little propane heaters for you. So if you get shivered and cold like we are, you can warm yourself up. But I feel, I feel so ashamed because we are from Idaho and we're already cold now. It's like we've been home for like a week. It's a wet shaking. cold here, yeah. yeah. It's different. The best thing to get cheese and pretzel and mustard. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh yeah. This looks like a beer too. I got some truffle fries. Sam got a burger with some Texas fries, cheese, and jalapenos. We're gonna split the burger, I think. I knew how good it was here because I've been here many times, but it still like got me. The burger was like perfectly cooked, medium is what we asked for. Everything is just amazing. The truffle fries, you can taste the truffle, which I know it's hard to do on some fries to taste the truffle. And it comes with this garlic sauce. I didn't try Sam's fries, I'm not a jalapeno fan, but the pretzel was so good too because it comes with mustard and queso, which a lot of places you only can choose one. So like, I'm blown away. We now made it to our next spot. We're here in Post Houston and Houston, fun fact, is one of the most, or the most culturally diverse city in the whole country. So we're here at this cultural center where it's like a hangout spot, food market. It's really cool, we've heard. We've never been here, so let's go check it out. Blue stairs, oh my gosh. I feel like a kid here. Since we're in a cultural city, Boba, matcha boba latte. Mm. I don't know if I like it. I don't like the boba balls. So we're headed up to the rooftop. Apparently it's a really cool view up there of the skyline. And this place is actually really new. Like within the last year they built it. Look at this beautiful skyline. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, right here. Right here. Wait. 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 <laughs>